CNN reports on Trump's mental health, viewers disturbed by Scorcher host let slip. CNN viewers were stunned after tuning in to hear the fake news network bash President Donald Trump's mental health. Unfortunately for those hoping to hear how Trump is unfit for office, they were left utterly disturbed by the scorcher that the host let slip just moments into the segment. America has come to learn that CNN is comprised of partisan hacks who think that their words are worth more than yours or mine and worth more than facts too. They also seem to believe that their opinions are much more popular than they really are. This was proven during the election as the campaign headlines were full of useless rhetoric on how Hillary Clinton was set to be president and claims that Trump didn't stand a chance. The rest, as they say, is history. Sadly, to this day, Trump is still battling the biased media, but luckily, many people believe that he's winning as his achievements speak for themselves. Still, the vast majority of coverage put out by liberal networks continues to be negative in nature. After Michael Wolff recently released a new book titled Fire and Fury, Inside the Trump White House, coverage has now shifted to whether Trump is mentally fit to carry the title of Commander-in-Chief. Even worse yet, the idiots on the left seem to think that this may be the way they can finally get Trump impeached through the 25th Amendment. Not so shockingly, the conversation recently turned to just that recently as CNN host Michael Smirkonish brought it up. However, viewers would be left disturbed by the scorcher he let slip, as a review reports. Although those tuning in likely wanted to hear about Trump's mental health, you can imagine their surprise when Smirkonish blasted people attempting to diagnose President Donald Trump with a mental illness. One of the most talked about aspects of Michael Wolff's new book on President Trump has been its calling into question Trump's fitness for office, Smirkonish began during the segment on CNN. Not just in terms of his knowledge, temperament, and experience, but also his mental fitness. And the last one dreads into territory that troubles me, he continued. Let me explain, Smirkonish went on. In 1964, a magazine called Fact polled mental health professionals on U.S. Senator and presidential candidate Barry Goldwater's fitness to serve as commander-in-chief. The magazine published a cover story claiming that many found him unfit. After the election, Goldwater sued the editor for libel and won. He then went on to describe the Goldwater Rule, in which the American Psychiatric Association decided that it is unethical for a psychiatrist to offer their opinion unless they had conducted a proper examination. Sadly, he then went on to point out that the Goldwater Rule has gone out the window when it comes to the attacks on Trump. Bringing up a book that current mental health professionals put out called The Dangerous Case of Donald Trump, Smirkonish then dropped a brutal hammer. I don't think we should encourage this sort of speculation. First, it's inexact and it's subjective. Second, it's unfair and unseemly, just as I said it was when some speculated about what hailed Hillary Clinton when she took a stumble on September 11, 2016, he explained. I don't distinguish between mental and physical in respecting privacy, he added. But more importantly, I'm uncomfortable with the idea of getting rid of the Goldwater rule, which was imposed for a purpose. It wasn't fair to Senator Goldwater that he was the subject of armchair diagnoses, Smirkonish continued. We'd set a dangerous precedent in allowing our public servants to be diagnosed by lay people or professionals who've never met them professionally, he warned. We might discourage some from seeking public service. And had this always been the thinking, we'd also have denied ourselves many fine public servants if we precluded those with mental illness, Lincoln and Churchill among them. It's shocking to have such unbiased, factual reporting found on CNN, especially when it's in favor of President Donald Trump. While some are saying that even a blind squirrel finds a nut every once in a while, this could be the beginning of CNN waking up to the damage they've done with their fake news and attempting to turn over a new leaf. Sure, even reporters may take issue with politicians, and that's fine, but they better have something legitimate to report and they most certainly have to come with facts to support their argument in an ethical manner. Currently, the left is lacking all of that. Wolf's book is centered around nothing but gossip with a man even writing a disclaimer in the book explaining as much. The left may not agree with Trump, but he's still their president. president.